Hey Thinksters, it's Chris, founder of Thinkster.com, and in today's video I'm going to share an exciting uh, new Python API that I have just discovered. It's called Deep, API, Deep AI and it's a way to generate text automatically with Python. And I tried to make this very short, so let's dive right into the meat. So what does it do? Uh, Deep API automatically generates a body of text given a sentence frag fragment or topic keyword. And you can use it to um, generate text automatically. In my opinion, the text is very rough, so it's only one step in a, in a, in a um, text processing pipeline, but it's a very uh, interesting, interesting way. And here you can see this kind of text. So I have, so um, if we, if we have a look at the code, you um, first import the request library. The request library is just a library to issue some web requests. And then you post the request using the API link. This is the API link from Deep API. They provide this link. And um, you post it to, you, to this URL and in your Python code. And then as data, you, um, you de basically define a JSON array with a given text um, key. And the value of this is, is any, can be any keyword or, or a sentence fragment even, uh, or topic that you want to generate, uh, that you want to um, uh, control the AI to generate some text. So if you want, for example, want to generate some text about intelligence, which I have done in this example, you just put in intelligence. If you have a sentence fragment even, you can, you can add a whole sentence like, uh, will, will Donald Trump, um, win the election also. I mean, this is already old news, but you can, you can do any, like any, any sentence here, how to learn Python or so. And then it will automate generate text in this, using this keyword and this topic. And then the rest is just an API key for uh, trying this thing out. I guess there's some limitations here um, with the, with the quick start API key. And then you get a result. The result is stored in the R in the request object, and you can access it with this JSON function call, you can access the JSON content and then just the output um, key stores the textual information. So it's a very short, very concise script. You can check it out on my on my web link. I give a link in the description below and a very short script. And this then automatically generates the text here. Uh, part of the text, I will read just the first paragraph. Intelligence officials, so it's, it's, it's about intelligence. Intelligence officials were able to confirm the existence of at least some Russian hacking operations, including the one apparent aimed at the White House. So it's very professionally sounding, very uh, serious text, but it's fake news. <laughs> so, I mean, here they argue the CIA brief, the statement said, was made official by the Russian government on the third assessment of a US official that Russian government officials had interfered in the 2016 pre president presidential election. And I, I mean... There are some facts that are true. I mean, there was this presidential election, and there was a topic about the fake news with uh, with uh, about the Russian um, stuff, but hacking operations. But I don't know. I have not found this uh, this CIA brief actually. So when searched for it, I haven't found it. So there may or may not be some truth to it. I don't know. But you cannot trust it, of course, because it's written by an by an AI. But it sounds professional at least you can generate your own fake news by this so this is very interesting and you see it's very long text even about intelligence so it's just an essay here and then the CIA has denied the CIA's assessment I mean this doesn't make sense to me but okay <laughs> but Brennan argued that the Russian public claims are simply false assertions that are misleading unconfirmed and improper okay so it it makes sense you can read it and you wouldn't actually probably guess that it was written by the AI, so it passes a so-called Turing test that checks whether a given text is written by an AI or not, and it's hard for humans actually to decide these days to whether some, some text is written by humans or um, AIs. And I actually t checked this text um, with Grammarly because I didn't trust it. I thought maybe it's just a copy-paste from an existing text, but Grammarly says that the text is 100% original, okay? So here you see it, the, the, it looks like the text is 100% original. So, and also the quality, the overall quality is not, uh, 91, which is from 100 score, uh, which is relatively high. So the text quality is good, better than some text I get from my, from some writers for the Thinkster uh, blog. So the text quality is uh, very good, very solid. Uh, it's um, a bit unclear, but it's still, high quality text and it is 100% original. So in some ways this is really, I mean, this think about the value you can generate by this uh, tool. But of course, it's I think it's 
it's you cannot use it as a standalone tool to generate text. You must um, you must take it by the hand and lead it towards a more um, valuable text, basically. So I think maybe you can have already a rough idea of the text you want to generate and then take it by the hand, try out different um, different requests and then like take take those paragraphs generated by the AI as puzzles to an overall text. So I think it can be interesting. The question, the challenge now is, um, can you find a way to generate value with this text uh, t generating engine? I think this is like the million dollar questions. If you can find a way to, to generate more value with, the, with this um, text generating tool, so like create a Python script that uses this request in a more intelligent way as one step in the pipeline to generate a, mo a more useful text that is that really provides value to human beings apart from just entertain them <laughs> with the funny text. Um, so I think this is really the challenge. If you find ways to do this, and uh, please share it with with uh, Finkster. Um, I will, uh, if if you, if you send me any script, I will publish it uh, on the Finkster blog if it is valuable at all, um, and uh, share it under your name so you so you get all the fame. But I think other Finksters will be interested in um, in some in some scripts like this. Okay, and uh, you can also try it yourself. So here I have uh, in, on the on the blog I have um, created embedded this interactive shell that you can just execute uh, with your own keywords. So like you can uh, replace these keywords. Um, so you can replace these keywords with with some text you want, like like um, say learn. Uh, so what is happening here? So text like um, learn, okay, it doesn't seem to work somehow, this interactive shell. I don't, I st it still works, but it still it pop ups all the time. It's a bit nasty. Okay, so but you can try it out yourself. So uh, you can issue some, some arbitrary keywords um, using this script, even on your own, own computer and uh, play with it. Good, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, then give it a like and um, yeah, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our email academy where you get a lot of Python content for free. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.